So good morning everyone. Um, today we are going sewing bird cover, a wild bird cover. Um, we do it under glass here in Ireland. Um, or in Wicklow anyway. Uh, so we uh, the the um, the one we are sewing is uh, oats and kale and we have three cloths to do one for ourselves and two on contract so i am on my way down instead of going down the trailer and get the oat seed i'm going to go down with the uh, fertilizer spreader load it straight in and then stop into the, the two pattern spots of the way and the home spread mine so what we do is we plow it every <coughs> second year um, so we are uh, just going to discard this year so I'm going to spread the oats with the fertilizer spreader and the discarrow is going to disc them in so sorry what's going to happen is I'm going to spread the oats this year is going to come and discarrow the whole place and then I'm going to come back and sow the kale with the parahara and the air seeder so it does seem like a lot of work with tree tractors but it's actually substantially easier. The neighbours probably gonna have them. Um, substantially easier um, to uh, do it this way. The, the, the air seeder won't hold enough oats, it only hold a 50 kilo bag, so we'd be coming and going the whole time, you do an acre come back, do another acre, come back. So this way, it's all done in one go, the longest is going to get it. And then we'll, uh, yourself. Um, one of the lads on the discard, because it's nice to get through and we only have a small weather gap. So we'll uh, go to that. Um, I'll get back to you when I'm in the field spread the oats and I have to set up the screen so or not the screen, fertilizer spreader to spread oats this will be the first of the oats that we spread it here we spread a good bit in the back end for cover crops so a mixed variety of cover crops and that contain large seeds so for the bug show as we call it I showed it to you I actually can't remember the name of the video it was got, got in walking the crops or something like that. Um, we, I, I, with myself and one of the lads, mixed through the oats and peas and I then spread it with a spreader at a, at a working width of 10 meters, 12 meters, sorry, uh, half 24s. And then he then came along with this carrow at the air seeder putting in tillage on it. So that was how we sold that. Sometimes there will be more than one small seed variety on it and that will be why the air seeder on this carol. But larger groups, larger seeds, or the, you know what do you call it, heavier seed, but the seed that takes up more space, um, we'll go with the fertilizer spreader more often than not. We are trying to find a, a better way of doing it, um, but for now, uh, cost works results fairly well. So, um, look, we'll uh, make by here and see how we go from there. So we're here, we're about to start sowing the oats. Um, the kale is not too bad. But anyway, so we're going to go in to the mice spreader app. I don't know if you can see this. Um, well, with fertilizer. Yeah, it's fertilizer. 
search. So we have oats, not dressed, but it is dressed, but we're gonna use the same. Um, so pad setting, spreading procedure. We have V2 desk discs. It's going at 190 kilos a hectare. It's a bit strong, but I can only get a half ton bag. So continue. So we want to go in here. And we want to go in here. I want to add a new fertilizer called oats. Calibration factor of 0.63. Veins of 11. 48. PTO speed of 720. Next page. So that's that set. So now we just have to change this to 190. Okay. So we have to get out and set it. Sorry. 11 and 48. So we'll do that, and we'll spread it, and we'll go from there.
cover and um, so we just broadcast out the oats um, and this is the hail going out with the ATV got myself a nice sticker or window sticker thing and um, I calibrated it this morning same as you saw me in the uh, we didn't actually see calibrate it. I'll show you how to calibrate it next time I have it uh, on. And so it was disced twice. It was sprayed off, disced, harrowed twice, and now we're sewing with the power harrow. And I don't know if you can see the birds behind me, but they are doing one hell of a job. And um, well, not a hell of a job, but they're, it was barely they'd be doing a hell of a job, but there's some amount of what I'm trying to say. We're just going to try and get over the brow here, I don't know if you can see it. And uh, that would be roughly three and a half acres, and then I just sow the headlands, and that's it done then. And if we can get good weather next week, if the ground dries out, we will ring roll it to consolidate moisture and the seed, and that uh, will go from there. Dog seems to follow us everywhere. Um, there's deer cedar. So we just part our out here and uh, broadcast out the kale. Oh, look, sorry. You can see here where there's a slight overlap in the oats and the kale, but nothing too dramatic. There's three and a half acres here and three and a half acres here. Um, and so the headlands. And if we can get the ground to dry off a bit. See, it's, oh, it's not too bad, but it's all uh, wet underneath. We'll come in and roll it. Uh, I don't know if you can see all the birds. But anyway, so that's our wild bird cover in um, that we're mandated to do under gloss. Um, we also sow 40 acres of cover crops using their recommended mix. And then the rest of our spring ground or over winter ground, we use our own mix, which usually consists of oats and um, a tillage radish or mustard some sort of radish and a legume sorry some sort of brassica so oat a brassica and a legume usually in ours so that's the story anyway um if we get rolling i'll let you know how it goes but uh that's the wild bird covering for another year